Hello future engineers, good day and welcome for our discussion over this time. So uh, currently, we are already starting to advance with our discussions, no? We have, uh, we'll be starting now to discuss some concepts with our earthquake engineering. And this day, we'll be talking about a topic or discussion from the structural dynamics. So what is structural dynamics? So when you madumdum ano, uh, in your lower years, you have uh, what you call the statics, and then you have also the dynamics. Now, <clears throat> what is structural dynamics? Or the we have these uh, statics. Uh, in this one, uh, there are two types now to analyze this structure. By analysis, we mean uh, the determination of the displacement. The determination of this of the stresses or internal stresses that acts on a structure. So then you know uh, when we say um, static, uh, what do we mean when we say static? In the in static, the loads, the consideration of the loads is that the loads does not vary through time. <clears throat> Or with time. In dynamics, loads here in dynamics, we have already started no, to analyze or uh, consider loads no, that it changes or it varies with time. Naman siya sa structural dynamics. In structural dynamics, we'll be dealing with the equation of motions and then the effect of loads as it varies through time. Okay, so let's start with our discussion on the basis of structural dynamics. So we have here uh, the study of behaviors. The behavior of what? The behavior of our structure. So uh, in structural dynamics or engineering or in physics, we try... To simplify things, we try to make simplification. We try to simplify complex uh, things. No, we we call it the idealization. So in engineering or in physics, we idealize something. A for instance, a structural, uh, actual structure like this one. We have a building, and then uh, since uh, these uh, civil engineering structures are most often complex and requires uh, rigorous analysis, we try to simplify it in such a way that uh, we replace this uh, complex one with simpler models for the purpose of analysis. So what is a simple structure? So this is an idealization of our structure. And then, yeah, this one is the a structure that can be idealized. As a concentrated, as a what? As a concentrated mass M, and then this structure is being supported by a massless. <clears throat> structure with stiffness K. In the lateral direction. So, uh, <clears throat> when we say symbol structure, this is a structure long uh, we try to idealize it. No, nga ang iyang mass is concentrated, and at the same time, it is being supported by a massless structure with stiffness K. So, in the lateral direction. 
So, grabe nga idealization, no? Uh, we, already, we only consider the concentrated mass on its uh, level. But the support, we try to consider it as a mat, uh, massless, but it has a stiffness, okay? Lateral stiffness, or we call it the stiffness in the lateral direction. So, on the left side here, now we have a single story building. So, uh, we have here a heavy concrete through, and then it is being considered, or supported rather, with light steel columns. And then on the other side, on downward here, on the left side, we have a water tank. So, uh, on the top, we have a tank full of water, and then it is being uh, supported by a RC column. So, Monia Shatong, I did uh, what we'll do here is we try to idealize this one. For example, no, kaling sa water tank, we try to idealize like it as something like this, no? A lamp mass model. So, we try to idealize it that uh, the mass on, its, uh, on the tank here is concentrated. And then, it is being supported by a massless structure with lateral stiffness. So, money shadow idealization, and then, if it moves, it will move this way. So, yung na lang siya, the idealization. So, we try to idealize these things. Aron, mas masabta na to ang iyang <coughs> behavior, no? We try to simplify it in order for us to be able to understand it more. So, on the right side here, you know, we have a, if you notice, we have a single degree of freedom. So, a single degree of freedom, here, we, this is an idealized uh, structure, a one-story structure. And then, so we have a mass here, you know, on the roof. So, if you notice, you know, there is a mass, concentrated mass on the roof. And then, the columns or the supports here on this side are massless. Nang nipis na siya. At the same time, no, naan siya sa fixed ground. So, muna kung yung mapansin yung motion, uh, when it moved to the right, is di ka siya yung napaana, but, hindi ni yung behavior. <clears throat> that is the behavior of a fixed member. So, here, uh, this is a single degree of freedom system. So, kasi pasabot na ni single degree of freedom, we, koan, uh, we try, to idealize this structure in such a way that it will move in only one direction. So, for this uh, specific example, we try to allow it to move on to the right or to the left. So, our assumption here is that uh, the supports or the columns are infinitely rigid on the vertical direction. So, infinitely rigid, diligid siya mo, ubos ang concentrated mass. But, the columns, though it is uh, infinitely rigid on the vertical direction, it is flexible on the lateral direction. So, we allow it to move on the lateral direction. So, let's say if you apply a force here, so the column is flexible on the lateral direction. That's why the structure will move to the right. So this is a single degree freedom. It moves only in a uh, one direction or a single direction. <clears throat>